Let's be absolutely clear. We're not talking about Mickey Mouse or Donald Duck. You're talking about people who deliberately had a competition to insult the messenger Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. To make cartoons. If you saw the cartoons so you support drawn, the death. If you saw the cartoons, just bear with me, Sean. If you saw the cartoons that Charlie Hebdo drew, you would understand the anger. And now this woman wants to draw cartoons or have people draw cartoons to insult the Prophet, knowing full well that this carries the death penalty in Islam. So definitely, she's so asking people this. to attack. You support and the that's death why they penalty have thousands for Pam of dollars Geller. On the death. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that was uh, Anjem uh, Chowdhury, uh, radical Islamic activist, uh, uh, lecturer in Sharia law on uh, Sean Hannity's show with Pam Geller yesterday. Of course, uh, all week the debate has been you know, and, and, and again, people who you might not expect, uh, like uh, Bill O'Reilly and Greta Van Susteren and others. And uh, earlier, we, uh, you know, we had uh, Bill Donahue, and uh, they all say that uh, this event should not have been held. Uh, the former head of the uh, NSA and the CIA, General Michael Hayden, who I respect greatly, said it was unnecessarily provocative. But on the other hand, he said when they put the uh, crucifix in a jar of urine, uh, he said, I didn't grab a gun. Uh, and, and no Christians grabbed a gun. Uh, they didn't grab a gun when Saturday Night Live ran a fake movie trailer, a uh, fictional movie trailer of the Jesus coming back with a machine gun mowing innocent people down in cold blood. Um, in fact, it's only uh, Islam where people respond like this, notwithstanding what some uh, radical uh, leftists who claim to be terror experts say, oh, you have this in every religion. Uh, I don't recall it, I haven't seen it, and I don't know about it, and they never give examples of it. So <laughs> that puts uh, pretty much uh, the kibosh on that theory. Uh, but this was particularly disturbing yesterday, I thought, uh, on Sean's program, uh, when uh, you know, Sean kept asking um, uh, Mr. Chowdhury if uh, Pam Geller deserves to die. And so maybe we could uh, readdress that here as we uh, welcome in on him, Chowdhury. Um, welcome back to the show, sir. Yes, uh, thank you for having me on. Okay, so let me, let, me, let me cut to the chase before we get to any other debate. And so, um, does Pam Geller deserve to die for what uh, occurred on Sunday? You know, it's very important for us to verify the information. Uh, the information which I received is via the newspapers and the media, which are not very reliable. If it is true that uh, Pam Geller and Gert Wilders and their own organization organized uh, a cartoon competition uh, to depict the prophet in a way to insult him, then obviously they would be guilty of something which does carry in Islam capital punishment. And what I've said is that that needs to be assessed by a qualified mufti or a judge in a Sharia court, and if found guilty, obviously there is punishment. As indeed in America, you have the death penalty for certain crimes. You may not consider insulting the prophet something worthy of capital punishment, but in Islam, that does carry something which is uh, very severe. Okay, so 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 let me. So you're making a distinction. Is there a distinction between whether the co contest was uh, to make fun of the prophet or any cartoon would qualify? And number two, so you would be against. Then I'm I'm, I'm assuming you would be against, based on what you said, those two men if they were there to kill people, Pam Geller and others based on the cartoons, you would be against that because you said she needs to be tried in a Sharia court first, correct? Well, let me address both of those points. In the first place, uh, in relation to depicting the Prophet, we need to make a distinction between drawing in general, as a Muslim is not allowed for you to depict or draw or even to sculpt anything which has a soul. So human beings, animals, etc. are forbidden to be drawn. They don't carry the death penalty if they are drawn. But the Messenger Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said if you were to draw to the nearest meaning, he said draw mountains, trees, flowers, etc. So this would not be allowed in Islam. It would be a sin. On the other hand, uh, drawing the Prophet, for example, or depicting him, if somebody is doing this as a non-Muslim, for example, because he wants to honor or revere him, I believe that they have a, a statue, uh, I think, even in the Senate, uh, you know, they call him a lawgiver. You know, this is not someone insulting the Prophet, although it would not be allowed, and we would uh, remove those statues if we had authority. But there's a world of difference between that and someone who goes out of his way to insult the Prophet. And here we're talking about his honor, we're talking about his dignity, maybe his wives, you know, his own uh, character. 
That is something completely different. And, you know, we make a distinction between someone who says he doesn't believe in the Prophet. I mean, you can say that because, you know, there's no compulsion in religion. You may even believe that, you know, he's a false prophet. But to, to call him, you know, maybe a pedophile, for example, as some people do, or to attack his wives or his own sexuality, this is the area which carries capital punishment. So it needs to be assessed. As I say, I haven't seen the cartoons. I, you know, I wasn't there. And uh, I'm receiving the information secondhand now. Okay, okay, I understand that. I, 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 yeah, I haven't point, seen. I haven't seen the can cartoons. I, can I address the second point? Yes, please do. I was going to ask you. To, I was going to follow up with well, the second point. Go ahead. Well, I, um, well, absolutely. In relation to the second point, there are a number of incidents which have been related from the time of the Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam himself. Very famously, Kaab ibn Ashraf, who was a Jew, who insulted the Prophet and made poetry against him. And the Prophet said, who can deal with this man? And uh, in Bukhari and Muslim, the two uh, very famous collections of ahadith, narrations of the Prophet, Muhammad ibn Maslama, he went and he killed him. And the Prophet praised him. And like this, there are many uh, uh, references. I, you know, I can quote them if you want. The only difference of opinion among the scholars is, can it be carried out by an individual or is it the job of the state? Now, I promote the fact that there should be Sharia as a state and it should be implemented. Because, you know, if you leave it to individuals, although I accept that this is a juristic opinion, you know, it kind of leaves the door open for someone just to kill someone and say, well, actually, he was insulting the Prophet. So we need to have some measures. We say at least okay, there should okay, be... Okay, okay. So, so for, for time constraints, I, I think I've been very fair in letting you speak, and I appreciate you speaking yeah. and not bringing up an ancillary issue, as has been the case in the past from time to time. But so, so you believe that... Uh, that you, that those gunmen who came to to kill, assume let's assume and work under the premise, let's for argument's sake that they came to kill, uh, that they were wrong and and it should be left up to a Sharia court uh, uh, for the fate of let's say those who you believe might deserve to die. Am I am I accurately expressing what you're saying or not? Well, what I'm saying to you is that there is a legitimate difference of opinion on. Well, what's your politics? opinion? But but but, but, but I'm well, What's your saying, opinion? You your opinion. You know, it's not it's not a case of black and white because you know I'm not saying that the ones who do it as an individual, for example, Theo Van Gogh and other instances like Charlie Hebdo, are incorrect Islamically because they follow a legitimate Islamic opinion. There were instances in the time of the Prophet where people did this themselves, and the Prophet said they have no blood money because they were insulting the Prophet himself, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Okay, let, let let me ask you this: Do you believe that uh, that uh, that Christians should uh, kill? People who put a crucifix in a jar of urine or who portray, uh, put elephant dung on the Virgin Mary or, or, or portray Jesus Christ as coming back as a murderous, a murderous, uh, you know, uh, person. Okay, we lost, uh, we lost uh, Anjem Chowdhury. We, uh, we still have a couple of minutes left. Hopefully we could get him back because that's the question I want answered. I mean, you know, some might say I'm being too polite to him, but I've had my go-rounds with uh, him in the past. And if I yell and confront, then he starts bringing up Israel, okay? So I'm trying at least to get inside the warped mind here, uh, and, 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 but at least find out. if Because he, he, he said on Hannity's show that a Sharia court should judge these people. Well, then by, by extension, you would assume that he believes that people showing up with guns at these things, like these two men did, these two terrorists did, shouldn't be doing that. Uh, so, uh, but... You know, I couldn't get a straight answer there either. Well, let's see if we could get him back. Hopefully we could uh, get him back. And um, because I think it's very important. I want to know why it's only Islam. Why is it only Islam? And if he praises uh, Islam for taking, uh, killing people for, uh, you know, adversely portraying uh, uh, the Prophet Muhammad, then would he urge, would he accept if Christians would do the same to, a, let's say, a Muslim who portrays Christ in a negative light, uh, or a Jew who, you know, who, who, who would uh, do the same to a Muslim who portrays uh, you know, a God in a negative light or mocks Judaism. And I don't know that we're going to have the opportunity to get the answer to that at this time. Uh, whether we get him or not, we have less than a minute left. Um, but of course, you know, uh, Pam Geller and, and, and no one deserves to die. And of course, by Anjum Chowdhury also wants to see Sharia. All right, uh, I, I, yeah, yeah, Mr. Ch I, I'm Jim. We don't have time, unfortunately. We got 30 seconds left. We lost you. We'll get you back another time. Just very quickly, if a Muslim portrays Jesus in a in a in a, in a mocking fashion, uh, making fun of him, should that Muslim be killed by Christians? That would also carry the death penalty under Islam not under Christianity, because you don't mind. We uh, will defend the, all of the prophets, whether Jesus or Moses or indeed okay, the Okay, all right, got to go. I appreciate it. Sorry we lost you. Uh, Rabbi Shmuley Boteik is next. Don't go away.